all eight batteries are in place. These four batteries are all done being wired. Right here, those are exactly the way I want them. So they are ready to go into this big rack. Now as you can see, I got the bottom four in the rack already. So I gave up on the idea of trying to kind of shimmy these things up the ladder, like maybe one step at a time and then slide it in. So I'm gonna to try to rig something that hangs from up there and I can pull the batteries up. Because I'll be lifting this battery up, I need to figure out where the center of gravity is. I laid down a steel pipe on the concrete floor and so now I can roll the battery on it. Now there's a big giant aluminum heat sink under this, so it's, uh, it's not actually pressing against the cells of the battery. So somewhere right in this area. be 10 and 3 quarter, 10 and a half, so 10 and 5 eighths from the back should be about right. Uh, when I build the platform that this will rest on, I want the hoisting point, the lifting point to be lined up right here with center gravity. I made a line up on the loft that, which corresponds with the center of this rack. This is the carriage I threw together to hold the batteries, so I'll be able to lift from this pulley up top to the beam. The electrical tape here is just to keep this ring from sliding back and forth on the steel pipe. The steel pipe is held in place with a couple of bolts going through it. And it is a thick steel pipe, so it's not going to bend on me. The plywood, I actually had to notch to fit around the upper beam. And all the weight is transferred down to the two x four frame, which is on the bottom. So this thing is really plenty strong. And I even made the two x four frames stick out a little bit on each side. And that's so that I can add additional supports as I go up uh, to help support this while I slide it off. But now I can line the modules up with the center of gravity right here. And I think this will work well to lift them. It'll certainly work a lot better than just trying to tie some straps around the modules and lift with the straps. <laughs> Harbor Freight Dolly. Alright John, show sure, uh... Yeah. Are you? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a good thing it wasn't well, far up. Here, not up there. Yeah, I go up and pull it. Hold on, there we go. It's cracked, see? That's how it's rusted. Yeah. That means it was cracked. So it was only holding by that one side. Oh, great. Well, what they broke down here, not one. Uh huh. <laughs> this pulley should have been plenty strong enough for this task. There was no indication that anything was wrong with the pulley. After it broke, we can see that there was rust on half of the ring where it snapped. So this indicates that there was actually a hairline crack going all the way through the ring of the pulley. So the ring of the pulley was only being held on by half of the ring, half the material. So it weakened it to the point where it broke under our load. We made one trip to Harbor Freight to pick up a replacement. screwed on and it's being supported by the wall now this is lined up with the shelf over there 
and all I have to do is push the battery onto the shelf. Almost there. Getting over there. Ah. Pull it towards you. Nice job. The tower is done. All eight batteries are in place and ready to go. I'm going to be wiring these up in some future videos. I can't believe we finally got them all in place. And these things are huge. Remember, they're 164 pounds each. And look at how big they are. <laughs> they're big batteries. So I'm glad I finally got that chain hoist and I'll be able to use it on some future projects. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.